Hello everybody. So it's been well over a week since the release of the new event, the Free Realms Gateway Offering. And I have finished all of the event like in two or three days and each day taking like about four no about four hours and I want to talk about my experience with the event and how I think about the event and the road that Miyoyo is no I mean Hoyoverse is taking in this new event so yeah let's go straight into it so as you can see here I have already finished all of the missions and taken all the primal gems I have done the exploration and finished the Bakusu uh, box thingy and done uh, the um, fighting challenge with the uh, Geo V shops but wait no it's the V shops not the Geo V shops my, my bad so personally I think this event is amazing it's a type of event that I think uh, Genshin has done before if I'm not wrong the exploration types of event or I could be wrong I have just started playing this game for about close to five months or four months now but personally I love this type of exploration event like just exploring around the open world and listening to the amazing soundtrack that Enkonomiya has it's just amazing you know so about the uh, story in this event, uh, I, I did listen to it, but I didn't understand one one crap word since I skipped off and Konomiya's freaking world quest. Uh, sorry, uh, not sorry. I, I don't like listening to sorry uh, world quest. This event gives you two thousand and one hundred primal gems. Yes, you didn't hear it incorrectly. Because I started, uh, I started with like around fifteen thousand primal gems, I think, and I got to like seventeen thousand primal gems, and that's like crazy, like genuinely crazy. Plus, with a lot of Mora and enhancement, enhancement ore, and talent books, and much, much more. But the main thing that people are talking about. Uh, aside from the primal gems, is the uh, where is it? Um, the old swarm of eye that you get from leveling up the uh, Bokusu box. <laughs> it's this weapon right here. Uh, you can get refinement for it, so it increases the uh, the value of this weapon. So I'm going to talk about this weapon real quick. So. Uh, first up, it gives you a weapon enhancement uh, AXP bonus for when uh, you are in this event. So if you like it, just enhance it. But the passive of it increases energy recharge by 48% for 10 seconds after using an elemental skill. Uh, this weapon would be great on Yaimiko since Yaimiko has a terrible energy problem. Her burst costs like 90 energy, which is like crazy. And it gives a lot of attack, as you can see. Like, mainly, it's just a statistic that gives uh, energy recharge and attack percent. Mainly, like, like that. But it does uh, have some drawbacks that Yaimiko, like my Yaimiko, is built with aggressive 55% uh, crit uh, damage. It will lose out on the crit damage, which causes the damage to like fall a lot but also it gives like a crap ton of uh, energy recharge like a crazy amount of energy recharge as you can see here the skill attribute it causes like 90 energy to get her burst up like what, what the hell with freaking whole universe that's a crazy energy cost but overall I'm suffering from energy uh, problems. I'm trying my best to improve the build I, I have on her. Well, yeah, that's another video for its own. I'm not going to talk much about Yai Miko and this weapon. Uh, I'm going to leave it at the uh, new video. So, let's talk about other characters that might have the chance to use this weapon Kokomi, no chance. Barbara, no chance at all. Yes, it gives a lot of energy recharge. Shut up! 
uh, Kokomi and Barbara, like there's no chance in hell that they can effectively use this. Uh, except for Kokomi for the aesthetics, but <laughs> do you really need to run for aesthetics? I, I don't think so. Uh, but, but mainly because of the attack percent uh, substat on the weapon, which Barbara and Kokomi cannot really benefit much of. Uh, Kokomi can can she benefit from that? I'm not sure. I don't have Kokomi, so you can, you guys can judge it by yourself. Uh, Ningguang, uh, her burst cost is like fifth forty, so you don't really need any energy recharge on her. Uh, what's more, Lisa, Lisa can use this weapon quite nicely, I think, since her burst cost is quite a bit. Get some. Uh, Nice attack on that too. L let me take all the characters. My account doesn't have all of the characters right now. Uh, Clee. Does she really need it? Uh, no, Clee, I think, doesn't need that much. But you can put that on Clee to um, get that attack percent up, which is pretty nice. Mona. Uh, I know Mona has a giant freaking burst card. Wait, what? Ooh, ooh, what the hell? I did not expect that. Mona, maybe? I don't really know. <laughs> I'm not going to joke with you. Mona is the only character that I don't know how her kit function. Like, not joking. Uh, Sucrose, yeah, she she doesn't really benefit much from running the Ultron Eye. So characters I see that can benefit from it is maybe Lisa, Yai, Miko, and uh, maybe Clee for the big amounts of uh, attack percent. But that's all for the Ultron Eye. I recommend you take it, like get it, since uh, maybe. A new character will come out which benefits like greatly from this uh, also online. But yeah, that's my personal opinion on the weapon. Uh, next up is the giant amount of primal gems, which uh, you cannot complain about primal gems, right? 2001. I think that's the biggest amount of primal gems that Miyoyo, no, Hoyoverse. I keep getting the name wrong. That's the biggest amount of primal gems uh, Hoyoverse gave gives out. Till now, I think, from like just an uh, event only, main event only. Uh, about the new animes, the husk, what, what, what are they called? I, I don't remember what are they called. Let me search it real quick. Oh yeah, uh, they are, what the hell is this lag? So apparently they are called shadowy huts, husk, I think? Shadowy husk, yeah. Uh, they can counter shields apparently and take your energy. I don't really remember, remember since I don't pay attention much to the new enemies. Uh, this event is amazing. It gives you like four days to do it, and you can do it anytime you want, just not after to patch 2.5. Yep. So yeah, that's all from me. Thanks for watching this video. If you do enjoy this video, please consider subscribing and liking this video. It means the world to me. I do try to put a lot of effort to uh, my videos and yeah, uh, Minecraft videos are going to come like next week or so since uh, I want to do more Genshin content and Minecraft content between each other so yeah, I'm not forgetting about Minecraft, I'm just doing Genshin content because the new patch just came out but yeah, that's all for today, thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.